What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's Candace, your tour guide to unemployment in Georgia. You see the title, you see the thumbnail. Let's get right into it. Okay, first things first, you still got free calls. Yep, you got free calls to the IRS and you got free calls to GDAL today. Go ahead and get on it. The link is down below. You want to go to clamor.com and place your free call. Don't forget, you want to hold the line. It's free. Okay, it, it's free. You're not paying for anything today. So make sure you go in and place your free call and hold the line. Okay. Now let's get into the video. Okay, so you won your appeal. Congratulations, congratulations. You all you know, did their job for once. Congratulations. Okay, you won your appeal. Um, now you're like, okay, well, when do I get paid? Great question. I don't know. Um, I don't think anybody knows exactly when the payment is going to drop. It's not like GDAL has like, we pay out on the 1st, we pay out on the 15th, we pay out on the 30th. It's kind of like, one day you wake up and there's a lump sum amount of cash in your bank account. It's like, oh, Christmas came early. Yay. Okay. Um, so it's not like a set time schedule. What I do know is like a lot of people have won their appeals. They've won their back date claims, but it's like they're still waiting for payment and they have not seen their payment process. Now, I don't have a specific date as to when you will see payment. That's not what I'm here to tell you. What I'm here to talk about is if you won your appeal, what happens in between you winning the appeal and you actually getting paid? So there's going to be an email. It's going to look just like this. Okay, so let's go over this email. This is an effort to contact you regarding additional severance information needed for your unemployment insurance claim against Georgia's Community Support and Solutions. Please answer the following regarding the retention or severance pay received. First question, what was the beginning date at, of your severance? When will or when did the severance end? What was the last date you worked? What was the gross amount of the severance? What was your average weekly wage for a standard week? When was the severance payment issued? Please answer the following regarding where you worked. So this person was working at Walmart. I'll say, why did you quit? Did you give a two week notice you were quitting and when? So basically what they wanna ask or what they're trying to clarify is if what you said a year and a half ago is matching what you said now, okay? They're basically like needing them a little bit more clarity. You already won your appeal, that's great, kudos. But now they need to make sure like there's no discrepancy because the state, the government isn't just gonna pay you money and not know all the T's are crossed and all the I's are dotted, they're not doing that. So it's like, it's not another way to trick you up, but it's basically to make sure your story makes sense across the board, okay? That's why I call it the appeals hangup. It's a hangup after appeals. But here's the thing. If you know that this email is coming, you kind of have the cheat code in so you know, all right, well, if I'm waiting on this email, I know how to complete this email. Does that make sense? You want to make sure that what you said, and I know it's been 365 days later, you got to make sure what you said on that application and what you told um, your claim adjuster matches what you put on that email because if not there's going to be a discrepancy which will uh kind of delay you getting paid even more you're already going to wait to get paid do not delay your payment even more okay so i want to make sure you understand that if you're in appeals i don't know what month of appeals they're on i don't even think gdal knows but what i do know is if you won your appeal okay and they still haven't paid you you're going to be waiting but in between them there's going to be some different things that you may see so every time i get a cheat code i'm going to make sure i give you the cheat code okay so you want to make sure you like comment subscribe hit the post notification bell so you don't miss out on a thing also do not forget if you're looking for me i'm in a few places i'm at claimer.com i'm in our facebook groups I'm also at this new channel down below. Yeah, the link down below is where you're going to find me. I'm going to be talking about all things IRS, okay? And remember that you can place a free call to the IRS in regards to your child tax credit, in regards to your unemployment refund, whatever you need to reach the IRS for, we have a way for you to do so. So you want to make sure you go get that free IRS call, okay? So we'll be back. Peace.